Like I said before, I'm gonna try and trust the cat today. We'll see how that goes. Welcome back to 31 Mad Days of Terror. As always, I'm your host, the titular Mad, Mad Silence. Today we look at what may be the most unfitting addition to this year's review marathon. Final <laughs> exam. Yeah, you did just see that. While I added this, because a list I looked at classified it as a Friday the 13th ripoff, it shares little to nothing with, well, any installment in the franchise. In fact, it seems to share much more DNA with Halloween, that movie's predecessor. Basically, Final Exam is what you get if John Carpenter and Deborah Hill's slasher classic was not only set in a college, but if the slow pace also lacked the methodical writing and expert direct directing directing of Halloween. That movie was a testament to what a very talented cast and crew could accomplish with a few days and a whole lot of dedication. What this film proves on the other hand is that no matter how fun and positive the filmmaking experience can be for all involved in that process, if it's poorly written and doesn't have the atmosphere and meticulous detail of one of the slasher genre's most important films, then it doesn't make for a good movie, no matter how much it may try to ape that earlier film's style. The dread really set in for me about 45 to 50 minutes in when I realized Final Exam had peaked incredibly early. Its most exciting scene being a prank in the form of a stage school shooting. It was just so out of nowhere and bizarre, exciting even. And then the movie returned to its original pace, that of a snail, and never ever recovered. Meaning no matter how fun a character the absurdly named Radish was, how funny the film could be at times, or how great a fit Timothy L. Rayner was for this slasher's villain, the movie was doomed to mediocrity following the prank. Rayner is also wasted here. While being menacing as shit, the man also caught an arrow. That scene where he intercepts one, that was real. The character he played may be discount Michael Myers, but the actor himself was as legit as they come. And he's barely in the movie. I mean, they did cast this man because of his martial arts expertise. So if you're looking for an exciting or even just fun or entertaining slasher, go elsewhere. Now that I've warned you against wasting your time on this, how about we talk about one of the strangest most fascinating slashers I've ever seen. Meet me here tomorrow night to take a look at the incredibly unique film, The Prowler. In the meantime, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, positive or negative, and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, this is Mad Silence, signing out. If they give you a buzz, so much the better. Look, you can get them. Don't you have a key? Yeah, I got a key to the weight room. That's just to work out, though. I can't get into the pills unless I break the door down. You got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They'll know someone broke in. You remember our friend Radish? We still owe him one. Oh, oh. <laughs> the more damage, the better. <laughs> This looks like a job for... Whoa, man!